What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon. We're posting four videos every day, so make sure to check back every single day. We've just hit 20k subscribers, so thank you all so, so much. Let's get to 30k and get a deal in the description if you haven't already. Plenty of free crypto and goodies down there. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and this is probably because you haven't hit the bell icon. Thank you again for all your support. The algorithm is slamming a lot of content creators right now, so we really appreciate all your support. And we're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So make sure to jump into the Telegram and the free Discord. So we're just taking a look at VeChain here and as we can see, it's not actually looking too bad, is it? A lot of people, you know, getting super fearful in the market, but V chain looking as though it is actually bottoming out fairly nicely at the minute. Obviously, with the bearish moment and you know the general underperformance of V chain recently, and the bearish momentum that we have seen for it, you know, we were, everyone is expecting really V chain to be rolling over, rolling over, and you know it's been it's been pretty weak recently, hasn't it, in terms of price action? But we do think a lot of people probably have just you know most of the big sellers are actually out of V chain by now, and you can see that most people that are going to hold for the long term, they do seem to be just holding here because. Even though Bitcoin obviously rolled over and lost support, it seems as though you know VeChain hasn't really been affected all that much. We had this big, obviously, Doji candle here of indecision because VeChain was actually pumping up yesterday, wasn't it? It was coming back up towards the top of the range, just like Chainlink was to basically retest that high at around 10 cents. So we actually got up to around what was this 9.6 cents here, but then obviously with Bitcoin rolling over, it dragged it back down, didn't it, to the bottom of the range again, where we kind of got a retest. And now looking as though, you know, we've just been dragged back into the range, basically, haven't we? And we're still just ranging here. As we've said multiple, multiple times before, when we come down with that massive crash on the 4th of December for Bitcoin, we come all the way down, we come back up, we form the top and the bottom of the range there for VeChain. And you can see here, we come down, bump back up, you know, we're front running both these areas of support and resistance in this area. But you can see we come down, we fully retest the bottom of the range multiple times here. We get the bounce. Obviously, we're still trading down inside this channel as well. You can see the channel here coming to the downside. And then obviously, as we come up, we finally get that breakout of the channel. And uh, once we do that, you know, the, the next thing that was going to happen realistically was that we'd come up and retest the top of the range. And you can see that's exactly what we did. We come up, we test the top of the range here, eventually coming up to that swing height around 10.2 cents. But we did get rejected here. Obviously, a lot of people started taking profits in the last week of December. Most likely to be, pay, you know, taking profits to pay taxes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you can see with Bitcoin, we did actually see ourselves, you know, this is highly correlated to what Bitcoin was doing. It came up to the top of the range, but it got rejected. So we come back down to this trend line here for VeChain at around 8.1 cents here. This trend line being, you know, that massive coiling motion that we have actually highlighted on our uh, on the daily time frame, which we'll show you now. You can see quite clearly. You know, we did have that, as we've always said, that initial coiling motion inside of this one. We got the breakout, the back test, but we rolled over back down to the the, uh, the support of the 023 Fibonacci. So basically what's happened is potentially, and this is, you know, just a potential. We could be um, essentially forming a larger coiling motion, looking something like this, where we've come up, down, and then we've come up. And now we've come down again to the bottom of the range of this big pennant formation. And then if we do get that pick up towards that, you know, 618 we could potentially be looking at you know a bigger coiling formation if that was the case obviously this all remains to be seen because you know if bitcoin does roll over one more time just to sweep everyone out before that pump that we do think is going to happen then obviously v chain is probably going to roll over at least back down to these swing lows here towards that seven cent level so we'd say overall you know v chain this is a really really good project isn't it and i think a lot of people do get caught up and swept up in the uh, the day-to-day price action the market sentiment obviously the sentiment super bearish recently and we all know that vchain ever since it hit that high of 27 28 cents all the way back in april was it that it's been underperforming hasn't it you can see this massive run-up that we had all the way from what was it a tenth of a cent a t almost a 20th of a cent all the way up 28 cents a massive gain and then since then we've basically just been going sideways haven't we and we think realistically this is a project with massive fundamentals that is probably going to do really well in the long term. Obviously, the short term is so hard to determine because anything can happen. There is a lot of market manipulation potentially at play as well. That can be actually, you know, 
researched and there is a lot of sentiment that could potentially you know, point towards a lot of market manipulation by whales right now a lot of spoof sell orders for example pushing the market down so they can sweep up the lows and get more bitcoin etc but we don't think this downwards price action will go on forever we do think bitcoin's probably going to hit 100k this year in 2022 quite easily in our opinion probably head beyond it and if that's the case we're going to see v chain getting back up towards some of those prices that we do want to see so We'd say realistically, in terms of short-term price predictions, if we roll over here, we'll be heading towards this low here, essentially down at, uh, what is this? The uh, the bottom of the range, That zero between that zero to three and the bottom of the range, we'd say between that 7.7 .7 to 7.5 cent area, down to around, what was it, 7.4 cents in this area here at the bottom of the range, we'd probably very, very likely see a bounce in that area again. Just continue arranging until Bitcoin decides what it wants to do. And obviously if we do start to pick up, Still targeting the top of the range at the 10 cent 038 Fibonacci level. Trying to get back up through these EMAs because, I mean, uh, up through these Fibonacci levels, sorry, because, you know, VeChain, it's been it's been down in the dumps for a while, hasn't it? And cryptos don't stay like this forever, especially ones with such good fundamentals like VeChain. It's getting actual real world adoption, remember? And we do think, you know, in the long term, especially if we get a utility bull run, that VeChain is probably going to benefit heavily from that, heading back up towards some of these levels we want to see. That 50 cent to $1 area, we do think still, very, very possible, especially in 2022, maybe even beyond that. So I'd like to thank everyone so much for their support. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon to stay up to date with four videos we post every single day. Remember, if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight, as well as joining our growing community, consider the Patreon or YouTube membership down below. There are three tiers giving you access to our private Discord. Crypto Supporter is available if you just want to help us out a small amount. Crypto Maximalist is our main tier which gives you access to detailed daily technical analysis and signals, weekly and monthly coin calls, and insights into our personal moves, while Maximalist Gold takes it a step further, giving you an insight into our personal portfolio tracker, super low cap gem research, and a 100x portfolio we're constructing and updating, and access to us personally as a resource to discuss your portfolio via Messenger make sure to check it out. You can also sign up to our free Telegram and public Discord via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto. So go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximus.